Hi Room 2, I'm going to show you a screencast of how to use Scribble My Story, which is the app you're using today to make your book about the Who's that live on our dust specs that we found this week. So the first thing you want to do is create a blank book. So you'll see on the bookshelf there says blank book with a big red question mark. You want to click on that and it's going to come up with a blank page. So I'm Tap going here to record the first page of your story. And it will tell you how to record, but first I want to draw and add, add the writing to my, my book. I'm actually going to start with the cover. So I'm going to click the back arrow, and here's the front cover of my book. I'm going to title my book, and it's going to be called The Who's of Whoville. The Who's... It's going to want to correct who's because it thinks you're saying who is. So you're, every time you write who's, you're going to have to delete the apostrophe and just add the S. The who's of Whoville. So that's going to be the name of my book. So I'm going to go to page one. Now I need to think what I want to include in my book. My goal is to tell the reader about the who's that live on our specks in the Whoville, on our tiny, tiny specks of dust. So maybe I want to tell the reader what the who's look like. Maybe I want to tell them what they eat, what kind of houses they live in, what they do for fun. I can tell them anything about it. But I think on my page one, I want to start with what our who's look like. So I'm going to start by adding the words, the text. And to find do the text, I'm going to look down at the bottom corner and I see a little square that says A, B in it. Before I touch that though, I'm going to touch my page so it knows what page. So I'm touching with my finger the page and now I'm going to touch the A, B and you can see it comes up with the keyboard so I'm ready to write. So my sentence is going to say, our who's are blue and green and very small. So I'm going to start with a capital letter. I can see my arrow down here is already blue, which means it's going to be capital. When it's gray, it's going to be lowercase. Blue is capital. I want a capital because it's the start of a sentence. R space, because it's a new word, whose. Now, whose are the name of the people, the things that live on the specs. So I need a capital. Kind of like when we do star of the week, we do capital on that person's name. We're going to capitalize whose. So who, W-H-O-S. R whose are. Oh, I looked at the word wall, A-R-E, are whose are blue. Blue. Oh, that's on the word wall too. Blue and, and I'm putting a space between each word with the space bar at the bottom. You can see when I touch it, it turns colors. Are whose are blue and green. G, 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 r, 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 e, n. Are whose are blue and green and are very, v very small, small. And it's the end of my sentence, so I need to make sure and put a period. So my sentence says, our who's are blue and green and are very small. I put my spaces between words, check. I have a capital at the beginning of the sentence, check, and I have a period at the end, check. I use my checklist that I have next to me to, to make sure I have all the writing things I need. Now I can just push, in the very bottom corner I see a bunch of little dots in a rectangle with an arrow. That means make this keyboard go away. So now I'm ready to illustrate. And I know from my checklist that when I'm drawing my illustrations, I need to use a lot of detail. So maybe my partner can do the illustration for this one since I did the writing, or we can work together on the illustration. Remember, you're collaborating, so you're doing one book together. So now I have to draw what my words say. I have to make the picture match the words. So my words say, our who's are blue and green and are very small. So I'm not going to use orange to draw them because I said they're blue and green. So I'm just going to click on the green marker. You can see it lit up so it's ready for me. And I'm just going to draw. They're very small so I'm going to draw a little who with my finger. And they have, our who's have funny hair. Everyone's who's are going to look different and that's totally okay. It's whatever you and your partner come up with. So our who's have little arms. So they're blue and green. So their tops are green and their paint, bottom where their legs are, they have three legs, are blue. Now if I don't like something I did, I just push the little eraser and I can erase it 
and redraw it. So I am almost done with my first little who. And they're very small. So to show they're very small, I'm going to draw a flower next to the who so that you can see just how small the who is. So it'll give you come what we call perspective of just how small it is. So if I draw this flower, you can see just how small my who is by how big the flower is. And I'm going to color in my flower a little bit the best I can. Okay, so now I think I'll erase the stem because it doesn't need to be on the leaf. So now I've added text, I've drawn a picture, let me make sure I use detail, maybe to add some more detail, add a little bit more grass, because I don't want my who floating in air, he doesn't float or fly. And maybe I'll add a leaf. And if I click on this apple, stickers come up that I could use. Let me see, I don't know if I want to use a sticker in this one. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll try it out and see what happens. Oh, I can move it around. Here's a rainbow. I don't think I like it though. I'm going to exit out. But that's there if I wanted to use it. So I've drawn my picture that matched my words. Our who's are blue and green and are very small. So I've, my first page tells what our who's look like. Now I'm going to record myself saying it so that someone can hear me read. So there's a red button down towards the bottom with a microphone that says record. When I push it, it's going to record me reading my story. So here I go. Our who's are blue and green and are very small. When I was done, I pushed stop. So let me play and see what it sounds like. Our who's are blue and green and are very small. Oh, I like that. Okay, I think my partner and I are happy with this page. We like our detailed pictures, our writing, and our recording. So I'm going to push the next arrow to go to page two. And maybe this page I write about what our who's eat what they like to eat, whatever that is. And maybe the third page, I'm going to write and draw about where they live. So this is how you use the Scribble My Story app, which you'll be using today to create your Who books.